12 months ago, you know, to now. Yeah. The, the journey, I guess. I, I, did you think that it would be what it was? Um, no. Uh, it honestly was a little bit easier than I, I don't say easier. It was not all of what I thought it was going to be. Um, the doctors that performed both of my surgeries are obviously some of the best in the world, and I was lucky enough to be able to go see them. Um, and they made the rehab process and, and everything a lot less than what I thought it was going to be. I mean, my leg was really what I was worried about. They've perfected the arm surgery so much now that it's almost commonplace now with pitchers. Um, but the leg surgery that I had it was, was pretty unique. I mean, almost one of one with my situation. Um, so <clears throat> to be able to have that surgery and within 24 hours be up and walking on a you know crutches or a walker was pretty unbelievable. Um, so, but I, I mean, I feel strong. My leg feels great. My arm feels good. Like Hayden said, uh, I started throwing live abs last week. Got up to around 60, 60 or so pitches. Um, not all live, but I've worked up to 60, 65 pitches in a pen. About 20 live. Um, this week I'll try to work to about 45 live. And then keep keep climbing and just trying to stay healthy. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, if I'm not healthy, I, I'm of no use. You know, I mean, been I want to say it's been two or 615-ish days since I've thrown a pitch. Um, so it's been a long time. So I'm just ready to get out there and play. How do you feel velocity-wise, spotting your stuff, movement, all that? How's that kind of coming back to you? Uh, the velocity's, you know, coming at Coach Robe. I don't even think we own a radar gun, so I really couldn't tell you. It feels better, you know, that the past two weeks I kind of feel like I've got a little bit of jump back uh, where I don't have to grunt to throw 83. Um, so that's a good thing. But, no, nah, I mean, I feel good. Uh, command is spotty right now, but like I said, it's, as long as I feel healthy and I feel good, I know that will come back to me. So is, is that maybe the normal process? As far as, let's just say you weren't coming off the injury, but where we are leading up to the year, is that what you expect from, from the below standpoint of the, you know, the location? That, yeah. Um, it's a little different just with <clears throat> my leg surgery backed up my arm rehab a little bit. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm 15, 16 months out of arm surgery, but I really didn't get to start my rehab until three to four months after that surgery. So it kind of backed it up. So... Not to say that I'm behind by any means, but I might be a little further ahead, you know. So maybe week, you know, week one, two, and three, or the first month of the season, my pitch count might be a little lower, or, you know, something like that. To where if maybe if I'd have had those three months, it might, you know, I might be ready to throw a hundred pitches, or you know, whatever it may be. Um, so I, I don't want to say I'm behind, but there's obviously lost some time there with the leg surgery. What was the most difficult day of the last? 600 or whatever after counting? <laughs> um, honestly, the, f the month after, the, probably the month or, f month or two months after I, the draft kind of fell through and then figured out I needed to have arm surgery and then figured out I needed to have leg surgery. So once, <coughs> once I have the arm surgery and then kind of just sitting around and you got a lot of time on your hands to just sit and think um, and then the leg surgery happens, and then you're really sitting around because I can barely walk. Um, so a lot of alone time to process things. And there was about probably about a month where I mean I just I was pouting, man. Like I <laughs> I was in a bad place, you know, not not into where I would do anything, but it was just I won't say depressed because that's I feel like that's a little excessive. But like I said, I was just not happy. I guess you know. Um, I'd never not been able to play, not really been injured in any form or fashion to that magnitude. Um, so it was different. It was a, a learning experience, and I think it's it's made me better. I've been through a lot of things. The game has brought me to some big platforms with the Lily World Series, the Super Regionals, everywhere we've been my whole career. I've, uh, I've experienced a lot of things, but I would say that that's the toughest thing I've ever had to deal with is just – not being able to play and not being able to contribute and not really knowing if I would come back to be the person I was, you know, and that's still, who knows, you know, we, we've, I haven't thrown in a game yet. So, I mean, I feel good and, and I feel healthy, but there's a lot, I guess, to be seen.
What about during the season and just coping with not being out there? Uh, yeah, it was different. It was tough. Um, you know, we had some ups and downs, which being a competitor and playing your whole life, you want to be out there to help, to do something, and you just have to sit there. And then it, it gets tough because you, you know, you're an older guy, and maybe some guys look at you to lead, but you're not playing, so you kind of have to watch what you say. You know, you can't be different if I was out there once a week or, or you know, practicing or doing whatever. But I, I literally just came to the field and sat around. You know, there's nothing I could do. I was on crutches. Um, so it was different. Again, it was another first of my life. It was a unique situation, and it's it's all grown me. It's it's made me a completely different person. It's it's made me appreciate little things that I, I guess you know. I I just thought it was it was all working out. You know, after I came here with the plan of playing three years and getting drafted and moving on, and you know you have three good year, or you have two good years, go to the Cape, have a good year, come back, have a good junior year. It's kind of all, I guess, linking up like it did in my head, and then you kind of get your feet knocked out from under you. Um, so, but like I said, it's it was a good thing. It's it's made me better. Just in terms of going forward, you know, you're going to be the Friday starter, and you have a lot of young pitching behind you, so it's coming off an injury. It's having the pressure of still, you know, having ex expectations for yourself and having to deal with, you know, balancing the, the entire staff. So what's that going to be like for you? Um, I don't, you say Friday start. I, you know, I hope I'm ready. I don't – Coach Robe hadn't announced anything, so I don't want that to go out, and I don't want to say that. Um, but wherever <laughs> wherever, wherever I'm – you know, wherever I pitch on opening weekend, whether that's out of the bullpen on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, I'll be ready. Um, and, yeah, we, we do have some young guys, some young arms, but we're talented. This team, I tell everybody, this team reminds me a lot of, of when I was a freshman. We were young, arms-wise, me, Demo, Wyatt, Evan. And we had a lot of guys. <clears throat> and, and there was times where we were running four or five freshmen out in a row, and we were winning series and sweeping series. And, and we were old with our lineup with, with Greg and Blake and all those guys. And, and that's how we're going to be this year with Danny. <clears throat> Danny, Hayden coming back. Um, Bourgeois. I mean, everybody's old. You know, Oren transferring. We got a lot of old guys, um, so I think we're going to be able to hit. Um, you know, you might see some, just like, just like we did when we were young. You have some ups and downs, maybe in the midweek, some, some spotty starts. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but I think if if we can just stay consistent and and just worried about giving giving us a chance to win, I think we'll be fine. Have you ever have you got a chance to take any of the young pitchers either from last year or this year, kind of on your wing and Kind of help them along a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, I mean I, I don't, I don't really like to go pick one guy or pick you know two guys. Does anybody come to you and, and kind of maybe ask you questions? You um, not? yeah, I mean we obviously get questions, um, but I wouldn't say as one any in particular person or player. Um, you know I, I think like I said we got a lot of young guys, but we're talented man. We, we got a lot of Stone, Chance Stone, Blake Schultz. Connor Cook, I mean, you're gonna, we'll be running them out there because we're going to have to use them, but I think they're ready for it, so I think we'll be okay. Your father's talked about it. What's it been like uh, having him around the last couple of years? It's been cool. It's been awesome. I think um, mom's happy, so that's all that matters, right? Um, no, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I, I came here, like I've told people before, my, my grandfather owned season tickets here since I can remember, you know, and I, these were the first college baseball games I ever watched was – was uh, Coach Robe and, and the Cajuns play. Um, and so I came here because, obviously, the tradition that this place has and Coach Robe as a pitching coach and the history that that he's been able, you know, to do. Um, I kind of just lost track. I'm sorry. Um, what have, what have I'm you sorry. learned from him and, you know, as a – as a coach's experience as he is going into the 25th season, what's the, the wisdom you've – Gotten from him. Um, he's so big on the mental side of things. Um, like I said, we don't. I, I really don't know if we own a radar gun. He's not big on mechanics or anything like that. But I mean, we have binders that are about that thick um, with with just all kind of stuff. Reading hitters, how to approach a game, how to control a game, how to how to pitch in certain situations. And and I always thought I knew how to do that. That was kind of I guess my niche. You know, I never really threw hard. I had to, you know 
change change speeds and do different things, go in and out, up and down. Um, but he took that to a whole nother level for me. Um, and so he, he I mean, he's made me light years better, and he, he does that with everybody. Time for one more. Got it. They're, they're not making it um, easy on you throwing um, against Texas coming out of the gate, but, but would you rather, I imagine, have it that way? And, and, and just in general, the strength of the schedule early, how much is that going to help you? And then also, I'll fold two into one, um, totally unrelated. How glad are you that you did not succumb to the temptation of, um, of uh, going pro when you got drafted anyway? Um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm happy I'm here. Um, I felt like I kind of had some unfinished business here, like Coach Robe. I kind of walked in when y'all were in with him, and he said the last thing you know, he has to accomplish as far as, I guess, trophies or accomplishment goes as a national championship. Um, and I want to bring that here. You know, I'm not guaranteeing anything or not doing anything like that, but um, we have a chance to be good, you know. Um, and like he said, take it one step at a time. We got to make a regional and then, you know, see what we can do. Um, so we'll see. Schedule. Connor, you've had 615 days. You haven't pitched. you figure out where Harper's going yet? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm a Yankees fan, so I know he's not going to go to the Yankees, but I hope he goes to the Yankees. All right, we're going to move Daniel in real quick.